Hey, what's up everybody, Bally at Brand. Just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, I know yesterday there was a lot of uh, excitement and a lot of stress and you know curiosity because there was some code updated in the GitLab for Pulse Chain and a lot of people were thinking that the snapshot had already happened. So without further ado, let me share with you a clip that I'm gonna post sometime soon after this video that I made and then I'll show you the actual GitLab itself and kind of just give my uh, my analysis on what's going on, okay? So without further ado, we'll listen to this 40-second clip. Well, I forget who made the video, but they are not a coder, and they don't know what they're talking about, and they should stop the speculation. So they just renamed some variables in a file and saved it, and that's all that they did. Right? It's a fork. The fork is not, the fork is not, not happening anytime soon. Right, it's a, the snapshot will be taken when mainnet goes live. Um, there's no need to worry or panic over the snapshot happening early because it's not going to happen early. Um, yeah, we've got like you know at least a month or two, maybe three. Thank you, Profix. Yeah, I knew that if I would ask here, you guys would know. Okay, cool. So yeah, that was the clip that I made. Once again, I'll be posting it uh, very soon. Uh, after this video itself, but uh, I want to reiterate what Richard has said before. You know, sure, he doesn't want the the system itself, right, the snapshot itself to be gamed where people are, you know, they know of when the snapshot date is or the exact time and that they're going to dump afterwards. But he did mention that he would, you know, he mentioned this several times, but he mentioned that he would give a, you know, general time frame. Uh, to give people like a heads up. So uh, as someone that's followed Richard since, you know, 2017, a very long time, uh, he usually does what he says. And I don't think it's usually of his character to say that he would give a, a snapshot, you know, general time frame or a week, two weeks, something like that. And then just do the snapshot uh, without everybody knowing. So that's, uh, that's just my opinion on, on what I hear. Uh, some people were were really scrambling and uh, and frustrated that they thought it was going to happen already. So without further ado, let's get back into the other part of this quick video. So this is the actual Pulse Chain code itself. So this is just gitlab.com slash Pulse Chain com. And then you can see, uh, you know, I've gone through, you know, a few different segments to get to here. Uh, so we're just going to scroll down real quick and we can see that one day ago, this uh, this validator structure, you know, refactor thing was done. And then the other one was this snapshot.go. Okay, and then uh, we'll click on this. And then, so this is the actual uh, code that everyone's kind of talking about. It's got the, you know, some of the snapshot information and things like this. Uh, once again, you can go to gitlab.com slash pulsechain.com and you can read this for yourself. But uh, from the, the clip that I had done, that was Profex. And he's a, you know, a well-known community member and has been around for quite some time. But once again, it's, it's not like Richard to say several times that he's going to give some sort of general time frame or heads up and then for him not to do that. So, and then the other thing I wanted to say was this is uh, in that same, in that same clip that I had made uh, from a different time, someone was thinking that the snapshot had already happened and they were, uh, they were mad because they had uh, some, you know, some crypto on like, I think they're like a Binance yield farm, something like that. But what they're doing and the point that I want to get at is you should really prepare for the snapshot uh, to be any day, right? And to be uh, sooner than later, things like this, and just be prepared uh, in general because the person was, was doing some sort of yield farming uh, and they were getting a little bit of, uh, of interest, but you know, what if that was at the cost of the snapshot, right? What if his fear was actually true? And, you know, he was, he was risking uh, a few percentage of, of yield and of interest for, for missing a whole snapshot. So that's definitely something to consider as I see a lot of people still, um, you know, still gambling and still uh, lending their keys away, their crypto and their keys to centralized, you know, counterparties that uh that could that could take their crypto and and could never give it back 
Uh, so it's really something to consider. Uh, that same person, uh, I wish he had looked into Hex maybe a little bit because he would realize that, hey, you know, I can earn more interest with Hex. You know, on like a yearly basis, you're getting like a 13% APY. If you stake longer, obviously you're getting more. But, um, you know, the, the point is, is that counterparty risk. I see people with the Celsius or people with that, that yield farm that the guy was doing. And at the end of the day, it, it's not your keys, not your crypto. And so don't, uh, don't be playing these degenerate games. Like they say, uh, you know, uh, play stupid games, win stupid prizes type deal. And, and people can do whatever they want. It's, it's none of my business. But if that was actually uh, to happen and that guy's fear were, were to be true and be realized, then he would have just, you know, gambled a couple of percent uh, of yield that he was doing for missing a whole entire snapshot. So just something to consider the snapshot to my knowledge, to everyone else's knowledge that I actually, you know, verify the information with too, hasn't happened yet. Once again, Profex was just saying that the, uh, the update had happened in the code and that's what was going on is the update in the code. And, and someone had kind of misconstrued the update in the code for the actual snapshot itself. So it's really important to have your ear to the ground to be listening to the proper information. And if you are one of those people that panicked yesterday or are panicking today because you think it happened, you know, maybe you're in a situation that you probably should remove yourself from and that you shouldn't be in because it's, it's very high risk and, uh, you know, probably not worth it at the end of the day. We see a lot of people lose their keys to hacks or just to not having them in the first place. And they thought they had it because they were earning yield, things like that. And then they end up missing out on all of their crypto and say the snapshot. So something to consider, you really are the bank and uh, you are your own bank in crypto. And uh, if you're just volunteering and giving it to someone else, then uh, then don't be surprised. Maybe it doesn't happen today, doesn't happen next week, but don't be surprised if in the future uh, something happens where now you can't get access to that crypto that you thought was yours. So hope everyone's doing well. I'll see everyone on the next video. Uh, Appreciate Profex chiming in in the chat and everyone else. Um, you know, this really is like a game of telephone where one person hears something or they think that the snapshot's going off and then they tell the chat. And then now all of a sudden the chat's going wild thinking that the actual snapshot had happened. So to my knowledge, it hasn't. Richard said that he doesn't want the, the snapshot itself to be gamed, but he also said several times that he would give some sort of general uh, time thing for people to prepare. So why not be prepared now instead of being a sheep and flocking with the herd that's going to do everything last minute? Because if you think that you're going to arbitrage and, and do everything at the last minute, then most likely all of the other people that are traders and that are arbitraging, they're going to do the same thing. So if everyone's rushing in at the last minute and you think you're going to get a better deal for that reason, well, maybe it turns out that you end up paying a higher price because those other people along with you push up the price higher than if you were already in right now. So just something to consider. I'm glad that I don't have to worry about that because I have all my keys. I own my own crypto and I know that whenever the snapshot happens, you know, it'll get copied over to the stakes and things like this that I have. So that's the very last thing I have to say.